Everyone, welcome to Oshwal Seniors Fitness. I'm with my Sasu, Nisha Ben Mahendra Mehta, and you're in for a lovely full body workout today. All you will need is if you have some bottles, if you have some tins, otherwise you can just use your body weight. You don't even need to add any extra weight. And if by chance you have some resistance bands, if you don't, don't worry, but these resistance bands are stretchy, so they give you a little bit of tension as you're doing some of the movements for our mobility work. Um, they are different colours, they're very easily available on Amazon, they're nice and cheap, they're one of the few things, that gym equipment that are available online at the moment. And otherwise you can also use a chundri like mummies or a long towel. It doesn't have the stretch, but it'll still give you the movement. And if you don't have those, you just use uh, yourself and I will give you all options, so don't worry. So let's make a start with a nice uh, warm up. We're gonna start mobilizing our neck after you've woken up, even through the day, if you're on the sofa too long, we're gonna do some semicircles. And mummy will then translate in Gujarati for all the exercises. So we're going to start on one side and then bring our chin down to our chest and over to the other side. So it's just a half circle, like I'm drawing a smile with my chin in the air. It will help if you smile as well. Shoulders back, core engaged. Sitting up nice and straight and tall. Let's do five of these. Breathing through. So just a half circle to start all the way down. Looking round to one side and then back to the other side. Lovely. Back to the middle. We're now going to bring the chin looking up and looking down. Now as you look up. Feel a lovely stretch, lengthening the neck and then chin to chest. So, mommy, you want to do it? Daddy, you want to do it? And you can look at your chin, and you can look at your chin, and you can look at your chin, and you can look at your And you're breathing, we can inhale as we lift up. And then breathe out. Exhale as the chin comes down to the chest. Let's do one more. Inhale and exhale. Lovely. We'll now just warm up the arms. So if you come on your sofa or chair a little bit further forward, you're going to do some nice big arm circles. We'll do five in one direction on one side. You're going to inhale and exhale. Keep the back nice and straight this whole workout. Five going one way, sweeping by your ear. And then five the other way. When we're ready, all the way round, we're working the shoulder, this ball and socket joint. We're encouraging full range of mobility and motion. Just do what you can today and relax. So we do the other arm. Tomorrow we have to patch your legs. I will now under first. Patch your jaw, body slash. Good. Nice big circles. Getting the shoulders nice and mobile. Warming up the muscles in the body, and then when you're ready, we'll go five, coming the other way, forwards, four. Really important to do mobility and warm up before you start any exercise session to get the muscles warm, prepare yourself and your body, and one. Lovely. So, if you do have a band, Tamapasehoito, Otherwise, you can use a chundri. Mummy will get the pink, matching in pink today. So, we are going to relax our shoulders. 
If you haven't got a band, you can do the same movement. You're trying to open, pretend you're holding a band. As you come back, if your shoulders are tight, you can bend your arms and bring the band back. If you're not too tight, you should be able to do it with more straighter arms. So if you're holding the band, let's do 10, coming over the round the back. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale and exhale. Now, depending on your hand position, and it will be difficult. Difficult like it, or you can move your hands further apart so the band is loose. And then let's try. So it's better to always start where it's easier. Do one or two, and then you can always progress and move your hands closer. So let's go for ten. Inhale and exhale. Here we're lengthening the arms as much as possible. Working the shoulders, that full range of movement. We're lengthening the arms, opening out the chest. So we're working the pec muscles, all the supporting groups for the upper body. I'm holding my stomach in, but I'm breathing through. You should feel a lovely warmth. And if it's easy, like I said, you can challenge by making jarak daita. Move your hands closer. Inhale, really stretch. Use that band. Lovely. And if you haven't got a band, just do what you can. Every minute of movement counts. So this is great that you're taking part and Oshwal is providing these sessions. It's a treat for your body and your mind. Good. Inhale, exhale. Let's do one more. Can you feel the warmth, mommy? Yes. On the muscles. Good. This is what I call shoulder flossing. So just like we're supposed to floss our teeth every day, we should also floss our shoulders. And you should feel nice and loose now on the top. If you have a band, great, otherwise we're going to lengthen opposite hands. So stretching all the way across the body and good. Mummy's doing it with the band. You can either bring it back here as the rest position, which is easier, so your arms drop. Or you can keep it up here, which is harder. Because then you're keeping your arms in a front raise here. And again, start off easy if you have a band. Start off wider, get a lovely stretch. See if you can lengthen the arms anymore. Breathe out as we stretch. Inhale as you come back. Good. Bade Shrasliyo. Andar Shrasliyo. Lovely. Bade Shras. Good. And we'll change direction. Yeah. Lovely. So if you haven't changed direction, don't worry. Mummy's been doing one direction, so she'll do five on the same. If you were alternating like me, I was doing one. Doesn't matter, we're all still working. Good. Let's do two more, wherever you are. And last one. Excellent. Really good. So you should feel really good warmth here. I'm going to show you one for this area. Well, you might feel it in your um, shoulders to your biceps. It's also good for rotator calf. So if you keep your hands, keep the band loose, quite loose. And if you haven't got a band, that's fine. You're going to keep your elbows tucked to your body. So they're glued here. There's no gap. Yeah, so tamara. So nice and loose, and this arm is staying straight. There's no bend in the wrist. The wrist is staying straight in line with the forearm. And then all I'm going to do is try and keep them glued and squeeze out and back in. If it feels easy, just try one or two. I'm trying to get my arms so that they come all the way out towards mummy to this side. Good. Can you feel that? 
And if you can't, you can move your hands straight out closer on the band, squeeze out, exhale, inhale. Whenever you do the hard part of the movement, you use your breathing out to help you. Inhale, exhale. Body is Good. And Can you feel this? So lengthen, squeeze out. Good. Let's do two more. If you haven't got a band, you're still rotating here. And in the middle. One more. Squeeze out. And relax. Good. Nice new exercise. So let's leave the bands for now. But don't mind pass a band hoy, hurry. So you can always use some of these exercises and repeat them in the week until our next session next Thursday. So let's get our hands up in the air and we're going to put the opposite hand on the wrist and we're just going to take a side bend towards the hand that's gone to the wrist. So this side, stretching over back to the middle. Inhale, so exhale as we come over and across. I'm trying to get a nice side bend here. Good, and inhale. Lovely, one more, then we'll change sides. Exhale, inhale, great. Let's try the other side. So this side, I'm gonna get the other hand over onto the other wrist. So yeah, that's it. And then we're coming over and across, stretching out the body, inhale. We're not holding long at the beginning. This is dynamic movement where you keep it moving. We want everything just to loosen up. One more and inhale back, well done. Now we'll do some nice opening for the chest and the upper back like an angel shape, so imagine your angel wings, your hands are up and then I'm coming back and down. Now I'll show you from standing position, mommy will remain seated, that I'm trying to really open out my back, so I'm almost arching at the top, creating a bit of a round, sticking my chest out and arching the back so I feel lovely stretch. So inhale, you can do the seated or standing, exhale, opening out, I want to really open out because I'm trying to prevent this, our spines as we're sitting, screen use, rounding out, we want to open and back. This will help prevent pain, a lot of people message me about shoulder pain, back pain, this is a lovely stretch you can do anywhere when you're watching TV, even when you're waiting for the kettle to boil. Some of these movements I'm showing you can do anywhere in the house. Exhale and relax, good. You should feel that, even though we had no weights or anything. Did you feel that? Yes. Okay, I will keep this back. If you do have tins or bottles, just keep them to the side. Now the next two exercises is our aerobic cardio activity to get our heart pumping. We want to raise the heart rate safely. We want you to feel like you're uh, working out. You will burn some calories, but even now I'm still saying Dhamma to exercise for sanity, more for our mental health than just how we look. It's so important, we're staying safe at home, but you have to stay healthy at home. So mommy will demonstrate the marching and she will lift, be lifting up her hips on the chair. Then you can do these exercises standing with me. So wherever, let's just start with the legs. And as I lift up the knee towards the belly button, I'm using my core. I'm imagining that my stomach tight chair and I'm lifting up. So this is good to work the hips. And you can go as slow as you want or as fast as you want. Now to add a full body move, mommy's going to add some punches. So she's going to stay seated. 
You can do this seated or standing. Good, I'll show you from the side. So find where you feel best. Let's try and go for another 20 seconds here. If you want to make it more challenging, you pick up the pace. Just do what you can. Keep breathing. I want your heart rate and breathing to increase, but keep taking nice quick breaths. Let's work, really punch out any stress, tension, anxiety. Three, two, and one. Well done, breathe. Are you okay? Yes. Good, so, mommy explain how you feel. Yeah, we are going to pump our hands, we are going to exercise our hands, and we are going to do our hips, अम गोठर ऊंचा करिए वापर हिप्स ने पड़ा सर थाई चे पे डुटी पर अंदर रखवानी अने तमे पंच ये करो तो तमर आँखों शरीर ने कसरत मरे चे सो दिस इज अ नाइस एक्सरसाइज यू कैन डू एनीवेर दिस इज ऑल सीटेड ऑल स्टैंडिंग बट सेफली फ्रॉम होम इफ यू वांट टू ऐड अ चैलेंज और प्रोग्रेस वो डू वन मोर थर्टी स you can add weight. If you don't want to add weight, <coughs> just focus on the 30 seconds at your own pace. I'm going to do it standing. So let's do 30 more seconds. I will time it. Are we ready, Oshwal team? So we're going to raise your heart rate. Let you recover on purpose there. So it's almost like an interval. We've gone high heart rate. I've talked, and mommy's talked, we've let you recover, and now we're gonna bring the heart rate up again. So it's actually very good to work your cardiovascular, your respiratory health, and your lungs, your heart, all these vital organs. Let's go in three, two, one. Good, come on, Oshwal team. Do what you can. Lift the knees as high as you can. Punch the arms in front of you. You can even change by punching the arms up. Mix it up. Find something that you like. Keep going. Keep breathing. If you need to slow down, you can slow it down. If you need to rest, rest. But we have got three, two, and one. 30 seconds. Well done. I'm already out of breath. I'm sure mommy's out of breath. And sometimes like mommy's gasping for air there, it's because your body wants oxygen. So I see clients often, people training, they stop, it looks like they're yawning, but are you okay? Yes. You feel like you want to take a big breath because whew, you feel nice and warm, yeah? So you feel like you're working, which is a good thing. So now, we are going to do some star jumps seated. So we'll take the weights away. I'll also show you that this is our second cardio aerobic exercise. So we're getting our heart rate into a fat burning zone. It's aerobic zone training where I can still talk, but I couldn't sing a song properly. So this is where if I was brisk walking on the spot outside or it's like a slight jog, that sort of heart rate. Mommy's going to do star jumps on the chair. I'm going to do them standing. So if you want to stand, you can stand with me. Mommy can do one leg at a time coming out and in. Good, so out and in. I want you to try and clap at the top because that's working your shoulders again all the way round rather than just stopping halfway. And if you wanted to, even Mommy could try uh, of doing both legs on the chair. I'm not expecting you to jump, but this is the normal star jump. But I'm showing you low impact without the jump. So let's keep going. Let's do this first round. Get nice and warm. Good. Keep breathing. Smile. This is going to make you feel good. I want it to release happy endorphins. Four. Three, two, and one. Good. First round done. We're going to just get used to it on the first time. Now, have a, let's do a second round. If you want to, you can stay at the same pace. If you're standing or seated,
seated. If you go a little bit faster, you're going to increase the pace, but you know how your body feels. And again, if you have fanny near you, if you need to have a quick sip, make sure you're keeping hydrated through the day. Shall we go? How's your heart rate, mommy? Fine. Recovered? Yeah. So as you get fitter, your heart rate will recover quicker. So mommy's obviously been doing this with me through the whole of coronavirus and she's able to respond quicker there, I saw. Already she's ready for the next round. Everyone is different. We all start off small on your fitness journey. So just remember that maybe in the beginning, these are ways to say, oh, my body's progressing. I can now recover quicker. Can you explain the recovery? Okay, after breathing, mm. it gets back to normal quicker, no? Mm. The fitter that we are. Let's go for 30 seconds. I think you've all recovered. Do what you can. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Star jumps. Clap for yourself at the top. Good. If you want to pick up the pace, this is the last bit of cardio. So give me everything you can, Oshval team. Good. All the way up and round. Well done. Mommy's doing doubles. If you get tired, you can just go to singles. Keep going. Let's check the time. Keep breathing. Good. Three, two, and one. Very good. 30 seconds work. So you can hear, my heart rate has gone up. I'm not jumping. You don't have to do anything um, that's going to impact our fried joints. This is all exercises you can safely do on a chair, or if you're able to, you can stand with me. So now let's do our strength work. We're going to start off with the compound moves. So the moves that are going to recruit a lot more muscle groups than just one or two, like our curls and raises, they're isolated moves. So the ek muscle group going. Things like our press-ups and our planks and our squats, our sit to stand, they're working multi-muscle, so more than one muscle at a time. And that way you get stronger. So I want you to get stronger. So what we're going to do is if you have um, a wall, if you've been doing wall press-ups with us, or if this is your first session, that's fine. But we will demonstrate on the wall. I'll keep this chair here for the next exercise. The next exercise we're going to do, you will need something, a flat surface. So a chair against the wall, but don't move it yourself unless you can. Otherwise, the sofa is perfect or even um, a unit, or your island in the kitchen. Good. But we're going to start off anyway on the wall. So you just need a nice clear wall. Mommy is going to demonstrate the press-ups. I will also show you just from the side here, Mommy's got her hands wide and her hands are shoulder height and if you are closer with your feet to the wall it's easier to start off with. As you get better you can start moving your feet away but you want a straight line from your head down to your heels. You don't want your hips to come out and you don't want them to arch in. You want a straight line. So, mommy, you can try and talk and explain one or two. Yeah. Tamara hat, tamay bitu par am pora rakho, ani tamara hat, ani tamara khaba ek line mahu ajoe. Tamara pag niche sej pora rakho, tamay najik jaso to tamay selu lagse, tamay du jaso to agru lagse, ani deva tamay andal ja evo andal swas lejo. So let's try and do 10 repetitions. If you're a beginner, you can just try and do a few good ones. 
It's not about getting to 10 badly. I'd rather get them at ocha pero, but good form and good technique. So as mommy said, we breathe in as we come the chest towards the wall. Exhale as you squeeze back. This should be working all of the upper body muscles. Good. Inhale. Exhale as you come back. Lovely. So you're ending up with a bend in your arms as you get to the wall. Like a 90 degree bend. Lovely. Well done. So keep count of your numbers. Take it slow. Controlled. Should we do three more, mommy? Breathe in. She's keeping her core in. She's keeping a lovely straight line from her head to her heels. Jet look high, jet look our jaw. Wall is the best, easiest place to start with press ups to help build that strength in the upper body. Even youngsters' classes, I get them to all start, all ages, against the wall to get good form and get us stronger and relax. Well done. Did you feel it? Yeah. Good. The progression, which mommy has only tried once in three months of doing this. And so that just shows that our first or second time to don't try this. But on purpose, I have got two chairs because I want it to be wide, the position. Another way to practice press-ups before I get people on the floor, because I don't want the elders to be on the floor. That's why everything is generally either seated or standing up for a workout mat. But mommy has only tried this once after practicing for 11, 12 weeks on the wall, yeah? That you can try this, so just watch. You don't have to try this today, but this is to show you the, another option to progress. My hands are wide, and the ecce is too narrow. My bed check the sofa or your bed, even your kitchen island, anything that's slightly elevated. This is quite low, this will be harder. If we did it on the kitchen island or a table that won't move, it's higher. But this is what you can then try. Is then you have your hands wide and you're trying to bring your weight down. You're not keeping your hips up or down. They're coming straight down with me. It is hard. Mommy's just tried one or two reps before. Let's try again. Now otherwise I'd like you to do 10 more reps if you can, up to 10 on the wall. So just do one or two, mommy. Yeah, good. Lovely. So you're trying to bring your hips down, bend the arms. It's hard, it's your whole body weight taking on your arms. Three, good, and relax. Lovely. So just to show you, I'd like her just to do one or two maybe. And then do you want to do a few more on the wall just to finish off? Lovely. So if you're on the wall, do up to 10. We'll just finish off a few more reps here. Good. Lovely. So you can see it's difficult as you want to spend time getting your body used to it. And practice is the best for press-ups. Practice makes perfect, so stay on the wall. You have such better form on the wall and mommy can come down nice and low, get this 90 degree bend. Just do two more, mommy. And you've done 10 all together. Keep going wherever, whatever level you're at and relax. Last one, good. Very, very good. So difficult, yes? But it's just to show you, there's always a way Lavina can keep challenging your body. So as you get stronger, there's things you can keep doing. It's not the same things. To keep progressing, getting stronger and stronger. We'll do demonstrate the plank now. So a sofa or a chair against the wall, something safe that's not going to move. Mommy can demonstrate the plank and just talk you through in Gujarati. Tamara hat kushi par rakho, tamara hat on the shoulder, tamara kanda on the shoulders, ek line par rakho, and ek pad pacha lai jau, bijo pad pacha lai jau, tamara akko sari siddhu rakho, and then 
अंदर बाल श्वास लीधा करो नीचे नी जानू हिप्स के ऊपर नी जानू सीधी लाइन में रखो और हाथ सीधा रखो Lovely. This is working everything. So keep your neck neutral. Just lift your neck up. So it's all in a straight line. Mummy should be squeezing her glutes, her thighs, even her calves, her inner thighs. Her arms are straight. So her shoulders are over the elbow. Just hold. She's holding for a bit longer. But even if you hold for five seconds, if this is your first time. Imagine your belly button being pulled towards the ceiling. So she's sucking her belly button in, her stomach tight against gravity. We define gravity. Three, two, one. Well done. This is one of the longest planks because she's been practicing. So plank is very good for your whole core strength, but also very good for your back. It's one of the best moves when people say. I want a stronger back or a stronger core. So as Mummy was doing it, you saw you should be really squeezing, trying to focus on lifting this up. Because if I was to do, which I can do, I don't expect to make a ranahoto, but like on the floor plank, my hips aren't up; they're not uh, arching; they're here. And here, I'm really feeling this high plank. My belly button is sucked in. You should feel a shake, yeah. almost. Yeah. The progression. I would like everyone to do one more plank wherever you are. You can hold for five seconds, ten seconds, even up. You can build up. That's how you can progress. You stay on the plank. The next challenge is going to be this one, mummy, where we come on our forearms, but you keep something soft. Yeah, like. A sofa is perfect. If you have a table, you put something like a mat on it. But I prefer a soft cushion chair. So here, now here, my hips aren't up. They're not down. They're in a straight line. It's harder with my feet together, and my shoulders are over my elbows. But don't make the arm that tight. So I want you to just stay where you were in this position. So you have to move your feet a little bit further back. And bring your hips a little bit lower to make it harder. Just hold for a few seconds. This is the first time Mummy's doing this. Three, two, one. Now carefully bring one foot in, other foot in. Good and up. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. It's harder to get your hips lower. They want to stay high, but when you come here, this small movement, this works your core muscles more. And we've done the ANJ job, beginners, for several weeks, but we can increase the amount of time we're working here. Good. Yeah. So let's just finish here with three burpees, which Mummy will demonstrate. We're using a chair. This is a little bit of extra cardio challenge for Oshval team today. If you can't do the plank, practice the plank again instead of doing this. Otherwise, mummy's going to be here. So your feet are wide. So feet a little bit wider. Good. You can bring down almost like a little squat. We're going to bring one leg back, other leg back into this high plank. So bring your hips down, shoulders over your wrists. Hold. Then bring the leg in, one leg in, then the leg, other leg in, and stand up. Clap. Very good. Now, mommy will try and do it. It's a challenge for you in Gujarati. If you can explain. तो मेरा हाथ कुर्सी पर रखो, तो मेरा पग पूरा रखो, तो मे तो मेरा गोटर बेवड़ा भरो, एक पग पाचे लाओ, बीचो पग पाचे लाओ, और ये तो मे अंदर बाहर स्वास की धार करो. And then you don't have to hold for too long in the plank. अंदर एक पग लियो, बीचो पग लियो. Very good. Excellent. Let's do one more because I said we do three. And if you were watching, Mummy, I only want you to practice a couple today just to see if you can do them. So we're here. This is a chair burpee that I've invented just to keep it low impact with this plank. I'm getting you to do extra plank here. You don't have to hold for too long. 
Bend, bend, stand up strong. Even as I stand, I'm trying to squeeze everything and get the arms up. But again, you should feel your heart working there, yeah? Well done, very, very good. Okay, so we're coming back to our chairs. If hopefully um, you're not moving furniture around on your own, so please be careful. So we are now going to do some isolated, so single muscle strength work with our tins or our bottles. You can use water bottles, anything that you have at home that is plastic and safe. Um, you just use your own body weight. It's perfect to start with. So we're going to do some rows, which is really good for upper, upper back, back strength. Um, we're going to do forward rows. So I'm imagining I'm rowing a boat and I'm squeezing back. As I squeeze back, I'm trying to squeeze, bring these shoulder blades together. So I'm here and I'm squeezing back. So the elbows stay high. Like you're rowing, let's just do 10, just no weight to practice. Good. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale. Lovely. Good. Now really focus on squeezing. So, mommy, how are we going to explain rowing? <laughs> Good. If you close your eyes and imagine you're on a nice boat somewhere in a lovely river with the sun shining, two and one. Lovely. Can you feel already? Yeah. Everything should be working. I'm focusing mind over muscle. Now, as I lift any weight, if I hold anything in my arms, I want you to make sure that my wrist and bend that high. You keep it straight. So as soon as mommy holds this tin, she doesn't bend the hand in. Yeah, you keep it straight. If you want to add weight, you can. If you already feel good without the weight, stay the same as we just did. We're going to do 10 more. So we're keeping the weight now in front of us. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, rowing in. Inhale, exhale. Good. Three. Do what you can. If you get tired, please stop. Four. And five. Well done. Six. Squeeze back. Keep the wrist straight. Can we do seven? If we can, three more Ashwell team. Three. Good. Keeping those elbows same height as the shoulders. And one. Wow. Even I felt that <laughs> with these bottles today. Good. Well done. So, after another exercise, Ajay, we're doing two sets of ten. If you want to practice, again, you can always try and do in the middle, maybe in a couple of days' time, and increase even your reps, so how many you can do, or your sets. So if you could do three sets of ten, that would be the ultimate goal, but safely and good form. Last exercise before we stretch, so we're going to use the tins because they're nice and light. I can give them to mommy first. We're going to do leg extension, so we'll practice this first. As you tap your toe in front of you, I want you to focus on this whole leg engaged here. So I'm, I'm really working those muscles as I come out and in. Now the challenge today is to do the bicep curl and one foot. This is working up our brain to help with situations like dementia and Alzheimer's. And mommy, keep your elbows close to the body. So we're going to lengthen the arms out. And we're gluing these elbows to our 
sides and squeezing our upper this muscle we're squeezing this bicep up yeah this is to challenge your brain coordination um, to keep it challenging if you can't do it just do one of them you can just do the legs or the arms but let's try and do 10 together so we're tapping out so down tap and then as the leg comes in curl good out and squeeze and curl so i'm working the arms i'm lengthening the leg i'm tightening the leg muscles breathe out inhale exhale good find your own rhythm this is challenging the brain keeping it active good two and one very good did you feel it mm. lovely so have a little rest this is working on the arms this muscle here upper biceps so bicep is here so even if i had no weight and i squeeze i'm trying to squeeze i'm really trying to tighten here these muscles is strengthening that area and we are also by using weight the metamara muscle mass and the bone density you're increasing so um, it will help things like osteoporosis hopefully help prevent them so let's try again let's do one last set today of our bicep curl and a little leg extension alternating the feet let's go 10 last reps so squeeze up and in good exhale as you squeeze up inhale as you come down good lovely that's it body's nice and straight focus on your movement on the muscles you're working three good two and last one very good Oshwal team excellent work so i will carefully get rid of my weights and we have left out our favorite lavina's favorite exercise our sit and stand which we mustn't forget this is the key one so sorry we've got one more exercise everyone then we're going to go into a lovely stretch but it's important i want you to practice this one for our independence, our functional activity of being able to sit and stand, squeezing up. So mommy can get up all the way. And if this is your first time, or even if you've tried this before, and you know you can't get up on your own, you can hold the chair, you can hold the hand rest if you've got them on the side of your chair, you're going to just lift up feet a little bit wide so good support i'm going to inhale and then exhale just lift a little bit and come down not the whole way to start so let's do three of these squeeze up and down if you need to hold on keep holding the chair to help you and come down if you can progress the full sit and stand so mommy and i will do let's do seven more where we're coming all the way up inhale exhale now as i come up i'm squeezing the backs of my legs my glutes and then i'm carefully sitting back down if you want to add in some movement with the arms we can take a lovely inhale and then carefully down good so shall we do five more mommy you can explain yeah. these ones squeeze no, body good no, just stay at the easy level the beginner's version as you come up really think about engaging so it's not just standing i'm squeezing everything I'm holding my core in, back down, good, one more big one, and relax, lovely. So again, 
Two sets of ten, we're done for everything. If mommy wanted to add a challenge, or anyone wants to, if it's easy, otherwise you do the beginners, you can hold a weight in front of your chest. This is taking away your support. So only if you can do this carefully, because now you have to balance, you have to use your stomach even more, and you just come up to standing, let's squeeze up, squeeze the backs of the legs, and down. You can just hold it in front of your chest. If you wanted to progress more, let's do 10 of whichever exercise you can do. I'm lifting up. I don't expect mommy to do this. I'm adding a shoulder press all the way up and back down. I'm lengthening the arms. Otherwise, just hold the weight. Squeeze. Focus on squeezing the backs of the legs, the thighs. Keep breathing. Good, we're nearly there. Last three repetitions. Then we're going to stretch it out. Well done. Good. One more. Good one. If you can, squeeze up and relax. Well done. So mommy has now progressed to holding some weight. But this is after 11, 12 weeks. So please... Start at the beginning and then she's hopefully inspiring everyone to show that she started with, at the beginning, the most basic exercise. If you practice over time, you get stronger and stronger. So, well done everyone. Very important now to stretch to help prevent any muscle ache, soreness that you might experience, to help prevent any injury. So we're going to just lengthen up first, inhale, and then I just want you to bring your chest down towards your thighs, and let everything go, let your head relax, your shoulders, your neck, let everything go. It's like a forward fold, but on a seat, just take a couple of deep breaths here. We want to hold all these stretches for 20 to 30 seconds. So I'll keep talking to distract you. And you focus on your breath, nice deep breaths. We're carefully rolling back up the spine. Lovely, excellent. So now we're going to take our arms up interlocked in our, so lock your fingers into your hands, interlock, lengthen up first. Let's bring one leg forward. So keep this leg straight. Uh, apple bug straight, Dr. Mommy will explain. I'll do one. So inhale, exhale. I'm bringing my chest towards my thigh. I'm relaxing my neck and shoulders. I'm letting my hands drop either at your toes your ankles, even your shin, but keep this leg straight and try and bring your toes towards you so it's flexed. You should feel a lovely stretch all the way. Lovely. Focus on your breath. This is almost like my time to meditate where we take nice deep breaths so your body and your mind calm down. Inhale, exhale, carefully roll up. Let's try the other side. So here you should really feel the lovely length in your leg as you're lengthening down. We're going to stretch up first, interlock the hands, carefully relaxing forward, lengthening that leg on the other side. Hands can go by your um, toes, your ankles, even your shins. Just let everything relax, chest towards the thigh, deep breaths. Breathing in and out, holding to lengthen the muscles, help prevent injury. 
increase flexibility and just for a few moments of peace good and relax excellent so now we will just stretch out our like a cat cow but with our hands behind our head i'll show you from the side i'm going to try and round the back to so create this c shape so my chin's coming towards my chest i'm rounding out the spine and then inhale i'm bringing the elbows back 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 lifting the chin looking slightly up opening out the chest Exhale, so like a cat cow, but we're doing it seated. Rounding out. Inhale, lengthen out. Good. Let's do one more. Really open out the vertebrae in the spine. And then bring the elbows back. Lift the chin, open up the chest. And relax. Lovely work, everyone. So we will take our lovely feel good. I hope you feel good. Just not just physically, but mentally, emotionally. Well done, everyone, for taking part. This is our finale feel good finish. We're going to take a lovely, big, positive inhale. Fill those lungs with positivity. Exhale any negativity, stress, anxiety, all away. Good. Andar swas liyo, bada soap vicharo karo. Bare swas kado, bada asup vicharo bare kado. Good. Last one. Lovely stretch. Opening up. Hands meet at the top down to your amazing heart center. Pranam Chejinendra. Well done everyone, well done mommy. Well done love you. Thank you Oshwal for organizing these amazing events. Uh, to the committee, to Ashish Pai, everyone involved. And everyone stay safe, stay well from home. Satamarejo.